out on the outer, over on the hill. It's all Riverside, they're singing over there. The crowd have gone wild here. It's going to be a Riverside back-to-back -back premiership. There's no way Greek can get up and win this. No way. They'll need an atom bomb, the bloody well help them, and bad luck for Greek. In the centre bounce, the switches is not there, but a bubble. Not only over to run the ball. Greek have brought it out, he's caught with the ball. There's no free kick. That's bad umpiring. This bloke is trying to do it on his own. He's just kicked the ball wildly. Who's down there? But Caro's there. Marty's there. Marty's got the ball short pass to Kimmy Kretschmer. And Kimmy Kretschmer's the reason why Riverside are in front. He relives the game. He stirred him up at three-quarter time and in, in, during that third quarter. And all goes for Kimmy Kretschmer. Best on the ground. Another kick from Kimmy. The throw from the other. Great mark, but not paid. Not paid. Richo's in there trying to get it. Clinton Giles has handballed it out to us. Number two, Greek are gone. They're picked up by uh, Marty. Kimmy Kretschmer again. He gets his kicks and all in there. Handball, handball back again by North. Greek likes caught. It's, it's on behind the play. It looks like Philippo, is it, that's in there. Skating on there or whack behind the ear off. But Philippo's been doing that all day. He's an old league, league player. He does stupid things like that. I think Noel Nair would have, would have got one or two in without anyone seeing it. Noel's pretty smart at these sort of things. There's no worries about that. The only thing is, it's stopped their run at the ball. Uh, Chris McAfee's going to throw it up again near the centre. Greek can't win this game, and all they want to do is fight. Ball's thrown up. Trichardson against Bubbles. Bubbles wins the tap. One of the first he's won all day. Green, he's got it. He handballs it out. Who to? Nobody. It was unfortunately fell over. Kicking in danger, not paid. Greek bust through. What have they done? A long kick for goal. What is it? It's a point only. They've played 25 minutes. They're into time on now. Riverside have got a one. Settle them down. Tony Hall, settle them down. We've won the premiership. There's no doubt in our minds about this. They're into time on. There's about four minutes to go. The Greek ball won't have a look at the scoreboard. The game's all over. The wind's coming up very strong. It'll need to keep by a gale. Bubbles and Richardson having a tussle. Richo's marked it. It's not his fault the side. His side is, is not in front. He's tried everything. Riverside can't afford to get to this. There's still time. There's still about three minutes to four minutes to go. We had a bit of time on in this quarter. Not a long, long quarter at all, but I think they'll play about another three minutes before it'll all be over. It's one of the most exciting days I can recall for a long time. To win back-to-back -back premierships is nothing short of being just great. Flying from behind, Riverside brought it down. Big Blaze got it snapped. Set from the pack and it's a go of the Greek, but I think it's all too late. I don't think Greek can get up. They've snapped it. Their supporters are going wild. I think they've left their run too late. I just don't think they're good enough to get up. So they've got three minutes. They only want three goals. Can they kick the three goals? I don't even think they want three goals. The 13 points the difference. So they want three goals to win it. Can they kick three goals? There's three minutes to go. I suppose you could say, yes, they've got plenty of time. They can kick five goals in three minutes if they're any good. Can they win it? I'm looking at Graham at the moment. How long to go, Graham? There's only two minutes to go, Graham, the timekeeper's told me. Riverside have won the premiership. There's no doubt they can't lose it from this point. Big kick by Richardson out of the centre. Straight down towards Darrell Ashby. Darrell Ashby's got it. No, Stevie Carrison's got it. Close, he's throwing himself over it. And it's a free kick. No, it's not. He's going to throw the ball up. Riverside have won the 1984 Premiership. Take it from me. They will not get beaten. There's one and a half minutes to go. One and a half. One and a half minutes. Oh, Riverside have won it. He's lost to the Greek bloke. It's picked up by... Uh, Green, he smells the ball off the boot. Picked up by Darrell Ashby. A long kick from Darrell out of the centre of the ground. Montgomery's up there. He's not. He's got it. He's got one left in his leg. He's running with the ball. He passes across to the centre of the ground, looking for da David Simons. Simo's got it. He's got it. He's down in the back. In the back, exactly. The Greek supporters go wild. They say it's not, but it is in the back. One minute, Mark. One minute. That's all you've got. Well done, fellas. That's all I'm saying. Well done. It's all over. David Simons has got it. He'll put the ball right in for Shane Lawson. He's sitting up there waiting for a chain. There's no way no one can uh, quick win this. Big kick from David. 
That's okay, David. It's out of bounds on the ball. That's all right. They've still got to bring the ball back. And they haven't got time to bring it back. They haven't got time. One minute to go only. The timekeeper, little Graham Carter, has just told me. One minute to go. One minute. Can they win it from there? I'd say no. Really so I'd have got it one. Oh, how do you get excited about grand finals? Well, it's bloody easy, I can tell you. Riverside is still in there. To kick the Hoffman, it's Hoffman's mark it. No worries about it, it's a great mark for Hoffman. Hoffman can kick it from there. One minute. Hoffman's lining it up, he's about 35 yards out on a, on a slight angle. He should kick this right through the middle. This will be... He's played a good game, Hoffman, today. He's given him run around the forward line. He's chased and chased and chased. I think the revival of the game came when Kimmy Kretschmer went on the ball. He brought the team back. He led him. He did a magnificent job. And it's a nice kick by Hoffman. It's come back. It's going to be a goal. It is. He's got it. You beauty, Riverside. Let's put the nail in the coffin, as I would say in, uh, in any sports columnist. I only hope that... This recording we've brought you is, is good enough for you to listen to. If I've made mistakes, please forgive me. But it gets so exciting up here doing what I'm doing, I just can't control myself. I wish I was down there with them. The silence is just about to go. I see Graham Carter getting ready to, to put his finger on the button. He's having a bit of trouble. He can't get his finger down onto the button. The ball's locked up in the centre of the ground. It's coming to a tame end, this game. Riverside have come back from despair. They were gone at half time. They came out, get coats off the ground, put Kretschmer in the centre. He relied the whole team. They brought him back in. He made it. And there it is. The side without an 84 Premiership. And Riverside have won the 1984 Premiership. Back to back Premiership they won. This is outstanding. The crowd's gone berserk. People have come from everywhere onto the ground. I'm excited. I just can't say any more at the moment. I just got to have a rest. Just cast your eyes on the crowd that are out there in front. Just cast your eyes on it, and you'll see people just looking and running onto the ground. I think we're still on camera, aren't we? Oh, we're going to stay on camera. I'm not going to talk for a few minutes. Get your breath and have a good look at what's happening. Montgomery's got it. The Riverside players are ecstatic. They've got Nolan here up on their shoulders too. He's earned it. He's their coach. He's probably the most celebrated coach you'd ever want to see in South Australia. Why the man hasn't gone and coached in league, I don't know. Or why the league haven't come to him and said, why don't you coach our team? How come the South Australian Football League count points? A bloke like Marsh as a state coach, when a bloke like Anir is around, who they couldn't appoint a state coach. Oh, Anir should be the state coach. He's done everything right. He deserves to be the state coach. There's no other coach in amateur league can do what he's done, and he's done it. Since he's been coaching since 1978, he has only missed one grand final in the two clubs he was with. Gordon 